I, I'm sorry, I haven't uploaded anything in about a month or more. Uh, I know I said I was going to, and then I started writing a lot. <laughs> and I found that whenever I'm writing, I don't tend to read a whole lot because I don't want, I don't want to be influenced and I also don't want to get discouraged because I'm, I'm currently reading a romance novel and I, I'm, I'm writing a romance novel and I didn't, I didn't want, you know, Regency, I didn't want it to, you know, make me discouraged like, oh my gosh, my writing doesn't sound like that. But now I actually finished it today and so I'm really happy about that. I finished it in a little over two months. That pace to me is crazy. I have never written anything that fast. If you had told me, like, even a few months ago that I could write something that quickly, I would laugh at you because the first novel I ever finished took me almost three years to finish. And that was off and on, but obviously I had a lot more time now being unemployed. Uh -huh. But so <laughs> I just wrote, you know, a thousand words a day or more and I was able to finish it. It's, um, 66,000 words, a little over 66,000 words, so it's a little less than is needed for traditional mass market publication, but it's not edited yet, and so I'll probably be adding some more material in there. I'm not going to try to pad it too much, though, because I'm, I'm not as concerned with romance novels. I'm not as concerned about getting up to either the 75,000 or 80,000 uh, word limit, because I will probably wind up publishing it uh, as an ebook, and it's just a little bit easier to do that way. There's not as much overhead, and it's a good place to start if a publisher, you know, doesn't want to accept me that way, or if I don't have enough or enough of a word count. But I am planning on submitting it to Avon Impulse. They accept unagented submissions, and they actually will accept stuff for ebooks, stuff that is less than you know eighty thousand words. And they publish a lot of books that way. And what's nice is that if you go through them, they have all the marketing. They have all the resources. They will put it out in their newsletter. And you have a much bigger audience. You reach a much bigger audience. You know, worst comes to worst, I, I may just self-publish on Amazon. But I feel like the network you get with a, an actual publisher is so much more valuable. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I will be, now that I'm done, I'll be waiting, I'm probably waiting at least three weeks, probably more like four, depending on, um, well, my parents are coming in, my parents are coming into town on the 18th, and then we're going to be driving up to my sister's graduation and driving back on the 22nd. And then we're spending, they're spending Christmas here and New Year's, so they're not leaving until the 2nd. So that'll be... That'll be at least three weeks before they're gone. So I'm not really going to have time to do any editing anyway. And so it's nice. I'll be able to relax over the holidays. I'm not going to be thinking, oh, gosh, I should be writing. I should be writing. So I might be able to enjoy myself a little bit more and get some more books read. Uh, unfortunately, I probably won't be doing any reviews until after New Year's. I am I, I'm going to try to possibly do a review either later this week or next week. Um, I still, remember my last video, I was reading Ravishing and Red. I'm still not done with it. I barely, I barely read it. Mostly because, I, you know, like I said, I don't want to be reading something that's going to influence me or make me feel sad about myself. Um, but I probably will read or will, will review Treasure of the Sun because, again, I, I just can't finish it. I don't like it. And I'll do a review of that. And I've also got another thing from CrowdTap. Now, that review will probably be going up, it'll be up on the 28th or earlier because it, the mission, the review of it is due on the 28th, but I need my family here to be able to do it because you need a group of people um, are reviewing Sweet and Low and like this recipe that they sent me and I'll, I'll, um, I'll explain that all in the video and when that's published. But, so I'm sorry I won't be doing so many videos, um, but I will be doing them more often after after uh, the holidays. And speaking of the holidays, I have decorated my place. Uh, this is an advent calendar. It's got the numbers and there's a little a fake piece of candy to attach to a string that you stick in the days. And I've got my tree. It's a full seven foot 
pre-lit tree. It was a fairly cheap tree I got from Big Lots uh, a couple years ago. And it's, it's skinnier, so it fits in the apartment nicely. And I just got some LED lights and some garland. And you can't see them, but um, there's a big wall, obviously, right here where the garland's on. I've got a bunch of stockings hung up on them. And I've got just like a little mini tree. You can probably see the dog right over there. Sorry, my dog is being loud. Coco! Come here. Coco! He barks whenever he hears somebody, and it's a real pain in the butt, especially when I'm trying to do videos. So I'm sorry. He barks, he wants to say hi. It's a real pain in the butt. Anyway, uh, so I've got the little uh, white tree. Yeah, there. It's sitting there. Uh, it does have some lights on it. Uh, they're just battery powered, but I don't have them on too often because it, the batteries get drained pretty quickly. They're they're cheap LED lights. They're not very efficient. Anyway, um, but I've got that there sitting on a table, and we we do actually have enough room here for my for my family to do Christmas. It's just going to be like my parents and my sister, and then me and my husband. So it's not you know huge family. We have enough sitting seat, seating space for six people um, between our our two couches and our recliner. So, we have space. Uh, unfortunately, they can't stay here because we just have the one bedroom. So, they're going to be staying at uh, a hotel not too far away from here. But that'll be nice. And then um, Christmas Day, after we have our own Christmas in the morning, we'll be going over to my husband's um, mom's house. Uh, she lives uh, just about 45 minutes away from here. So, we'll be going there and having a, a you know, really big family Christmas. They don't usually exchange too many gifts. Usually it's just like sort of stock stuff type things and mostly it's for the kids. Um, I've got, I, I basically have inherited two little nephews from his side of the family and uh, they're the youngest uh, of the of the kids in the family now and so they, you know, we got them a couple of books and uh, hopefully they'll like them. I, you know, I think they're like seven or eight and then one is, then the other one's ten, I think. So we, we got them some books that are, I think, appropriate for them. And yeah, uh, let's see. I'm going to have to do a lot of baking next week. Uh, my main present to uh, my husband's family is going to be cookies. I did it last year, and they seem to like it, so I'm going to do it again this year. It's a fairly inexpensive present, but you know I can make a whole bunch of cookies. I'm going to make um, oatmeal cookies, peanut butter cookies, and chocolate chip cookies. And I'm going to be baking like all day. And unfortunately, I kind of have to do it um, the day before I leave for my sister's graduation because I'm only going to be, I'm only going to have the 23rd and the 24th when I get back to do it. And on the 24th, we always bake the pies, the pumpkin pie and, and um, apple pie. And I'm not going to have time to do cookies then. And then the 23rd, we're going to go, I'm um, going to do our, our last minute shopping. So I'm going to do it on 17th all day and just seal them. So hopefully they'll be okay for a week. And I'm gonna. I have, I have Ziploc bags. I'm gonna seal them, and they should be okay. And then I also do um, these chocolate spoons. Basically, uh, melt chocolate in a double boiler and you dip spoons in them. And I gave those last year as stocking stuffers for my family, and they really liked them. So I'm gonna do them again this year. They're really, really cheap. Seriously, all you do get some chocolate. Um, I got a couple of special dark chocolate bars and a milk chocolate with almonds one. You chop them up. And you you stick it in, stick it in a double boiler, which is a pot of boiling water with a metal or glass bowl on top of it, and you melt the chocolate, and obviously turn off the boil turn off the water, you know, so you don't burn the chocolate, and you know, dip them, and there you go. It's super easy, and it's not expensive, but it's kind of a cool gift. Um, yeah. So that's what I, what's been going on with me. So hopefully, um, within the next two months, I'll have finished editing the novel. I know editing does tend to take a little bit longer than actually writing, but since this was all cohesive within the past two months, there aren't as many things I want to edit. Um, I like, I, I generally like the story and the tone of it. There's just a few things I'm going to add and change. So hopefully that won't take too long and hopefully I can get it off to a publisher and hopefully get published because that would be awesome. That's kind of what I want to do. I want to be an author. Oh yeah, and if you notice, I got I got these two band-aids on my fingers. Um, I kind of cut them 
fairly badly uh, the other day. We were chopping onions, and we have this we have this new chopper, and um, my husband wanted me to cut them um, a different way so that they fit in the chopper. So I was holding them, and the um, the knife slipped on the skin, and I don't know how, but it rolled over these two fingers. And I didn't realize for a second that I cut myself. I thought I just like smacked my fingers, and they were bled like crazy. I rinsed them off, you know. My husband, um, you know, got me for towel. I was elevating my fingers, so I'm gonna have scars on these two fingers. It's gonna suck, <laughs> but they, um, it's pretty gnarly. Uh, they don't need stitches, and at this point. I mean, I don't want to spend the money to try to get stitches. I might not even need them, so I would just spend money to get a visit. But, oh, it sucks. You have no idea how important these two fingers are until you can't use them fully. You know, I, I'm trying to crochet presents for people for Christmas, and um, I was definitely going to have plenty of time, and now I have to go a little slowly because um, usually I wrap the thread around this finger, and I pinched with this finger. Well, I can't put too much pressure on either of these, otherwise they really, really hurt. So I've been trying to use these fingers and like lightly wrap it around this one. And so I've still got two weeks until Christmas. So hopefully I will have the time to finish everything. And hopefully these will be, I mean, they're not gonna be fully healed by Christmas. So unfortunately, I, I, I've done, I, I've, I've cut my fingers before like this. Actually, I cut my, I, I tried to grate my knuckle. Um, there's the wide, um, almost like the how, how a mandolin is, but it was, it was on the side of a grater, a box grater, and I was grating uh, potatoes because I wanted potato discs so I could make chips, and I grated my knuckle, and yeah, that took forever to heal, and it left a scar, not a bad scar, but it was a scar, so <laughs> yeah, I've done this before to myself, I, I try to be careful, I really, really do, and I, I don't know what happened, I thought I was being careful, but I guess not. <laughs> So yeah, <laughs> be be careful with your knives. Don't cut your fingers. I'm glad I didn't cut them off. Fortunately, I I mean I was I wasn't going like hard. I just went on it and it just rolled off, and so it wasn't so bad. But oh goodness. Anyway, um, if I don't talk to you guys before Christmas, um, have a Merry Christmas, have Happy Holidays, um, have a Happy whatever celebration you do during the holidays or whatnot, and I will see you guys later. Bye!